Hey everyone, I'm Trevor, also known as Dad Like Trev. And I'm Jess, also known as the Fat Funny One. And we're here today with Superdrug to create the adult spiderweb look for Halloween. I'm here to give Trevor a hand because it can be a little bit tricky to do it on your own. So, let's get started. So for the first step, I'm going to create a bit of a smoky eye using the Maybelline Lasting Drama 24 Hour Gel Pencil. So I'm going to close your eyes. Do a bit of a line up here. And then smoke it out using a brush. So I've smoked it out just softly around the edges, but the trick is to smoke it out straight away before the product sets. I've taken it up and just gently under the eye and around the eye and smoked it just outside. Now I'm going to use the Maybelline Nudes palette. I'm going to use it to smoke out the eye a little bit more and also contour his face. So I'm going to use these two colours here. So they're quite cool browns, a darker brown and a slightly lighter one. And I'm just going to smoke it up, up into the crease and then just blend it out a little bit. So I'm going to use the darker colour closest down here. And then a bit of this one up a bit more to blend it all out. We're just using the lighter brown to achieve a soft graduation up to the top and then we're going to take it up to the brow. So using a mixture of the two colours, I'm going to take it from the corner of his eye and kind of brush up into his eyebrow and kind of fill in the eyebrow just like a little bit, softly here. So using the same two colours, I'm just bringing it down under the eye across a little bit and this is a really good look for kind of creepy ghosts if you want to just go with a bit of a scary look but quite a nice smoky eye and come down and now we're going to contour the face so I'm going to use this product here just a little bit and build up the contour by sweeping it just across here and the trick is to build up the product so the idea of the contour is to really create a hollow look so it's a bit creepy and a bit scary. So now what you want to do is choose a colour that's a few shades lighter than your skin tone. I'm going to be using this one here and this is just to give you a bit more of a ghostly look. Now once we've done this, we're going to move over to the spiderweb. So the trick for the spiderweb is to map out your spiderweb before you go in with your dark colour. So I'm just going to lightly map out where we're going to pop the spiderweb. Here. I'm just using a light pencil here as a guide. Don't worry if it gets a bit messy because you'll be able to fix it soon. So now to do the lines, we're going to use this Maybelline Hyper Precise All Day Liquid Liner. So I'm going to start from the back and the trick is to start the line thicker at the bottom to get really, really super thin with a flick at the top. So the trick is to take your time and don't worry too much about the highlighted lines that you've made because you're going to highlight it more at the end. So now we're going on to the really fun part which is the curves connecting all the webs. So the best thing to do is start really small and go all the way around connecting the lines and then gradually get bigger. So let's start from here. So I've just finished all of the webbing now and it's actually super easy with a pen. So what we've done is done really small curves at the bottom and then gone bigger as we've got to the top. So now to create a bit more of a 3D effect we're going to use a lighter pencil and just shade in some of your curves here. Now this is why it didn't matter if you got a little bit messy earlier because you're going to see the highlights here and it'll make it look really really cool. So now we've finished off the web, we're going to go over to the big creepy spider that is going to be coming up from behind his ear. So I've mapped out the spider and now I'm going to go back over with the eyeliner pen and draw over it. So 
So I've done the head and the eyes now and I'm going to move on to the body. Now don't worry if you get a little bit messy because you're going to colour in the middle bit anyway. Once you've finished colouring in your spider, just finish off the legs and you're nearly there. This is the closest I'm ever going to get to a spider. But once you've finished doing your spider, we're going to go back with that slightly lighter pencil and just highlight it to make it really pop. So I'm all done. Are you ready? I'm ready. I've done a good job. That is very, wow, that is really good. Do you like it? I do, yeah. And now I'm going to get changed to complete my look. Right, so here it is, my final look for the Halloween spiderweb costume. Looks good. If you haven't got a lighter pencil to use, you can use a bit of your foundation or concealer with a small brush just to create the little lines so you can get that 3D effect. If you want to get super straight lines for your web, you can use a little bit of tape as a guide. Thanks so much for watching. And for more videos like this, subscribe to Superdrug's YouTube channel.